What up, friends? This is No Futuristic from the Music City Gachi Gang. And right now, I'm going to do a very quick, the quickest, hopefully the quickest, video on the Avagachi Gachiverse Realm Light Paper V1.0. Uh, this was dropped by the team a couple days ago. If you go back on uh, in my videos on YouTube, you can see I did a live stream of the Avagachi Gachiverse light paper drop. And uh, I also released just the edited version, the cut of the team speaking. So you can go back and watch that if you want more context. But we're going to read through the light paper real quick. We'll start here. The prophecy. Before the adepts sacrificed themselves, they wrote a prophecy which says, Nine there were, and nine there shall be. Heed the warnings of the ancient tree. Great fortunes hang in the balance for gachi kin who prove their valiance. Introductions, which we could skip. We all know the mechanics. We're Avagachis, playable NFTs, endowed with a uniquely generated personality and a stake with yield generating tokens known as Spirit Force. Okay. So this paper is about the Gachiverse realm. So we'll start with the world overview. The Gachiverse. Beyond the human realm, there is the ether realm, where smart contracts twinkle and dark forests lurk. Travel a bit further down the rabbit hole, and one eventually discovers the Gachiverse realm. When a yield farmer in the ether realm is liquidated, like many were a couple weeks ago, it spirits journeys to the Gachiverse, where it reincarnates as an Avagachi. Avagachis are a special spectral species, species, let's try saying that five times fast, who love nothing more than farming, voting, and shitposting with their friends. So most Republicans in the Southeast, or Southwest, in the South in general, of the USA, just to be specific. The Gachiverse began with only a handful of Avagachis, but as liquidations grew within the Ether Realm, so the population of the Gachiverse burgeoned and with thousands of Avagachis exploring, building, and settling in its vast expanses, and even building great structures to worship the liquidators their creators and we get an idea of what the map looks like it looks like somebody it looks like what i saw a few weeks ago when i took shrooms at one of those farms i was talking about in the south and it just got funky and colorful it's a beautiful thing look at that map it's such a it's such a pretty thing there's a south beach there's a citadel we got some infinity cliffs you got some laughing peaks these different colors will represent different alchemica which we'll get into in a moment as i continue to read Liquidator Invasion However, the Liquidator's appetite for yield knows no bounds, and eventually their metallic eyes turn towards the Gachiverse. A clever Liquidator discovered a backdoor that allowed them to travel to the Gachiverse. Initially creators of the Avagachis, the Liquidators now simultaneously became their destroyers as they ravaged the Gachi homeland, greedy to harvest the spirit force of the Gachis. They probably needed it because they lost all their own collateral when they were liquidated. Ha. The Liquidators ransacked the Gachiverse, liquidating all but a handful of the Avagachis. The Avagachis that survived did not survive by luck. They were the most powerful of the Gachi kin, a special class of Avagachis known as the Adepts. These Adepts used the last of their spirit force to erect a citadel within the Gachiverse, protected by a magical force field. Within the citadel, they erected a megalithic structure known as the Great Portal, into which they channeled the last of their spirit force and the spirits of all the slain Avagachis in the Gachiverse. So that's a that's a big summoning all at once. Throw all that spirit force. It's a lot of uh, that's market movement if you think about it, because it's a lot of uh, different collaterals in your Gachis. Okay, the Great Portal. The Great Portal is a structure of impressive magical character, capable of bridging the chasm between the Gachiverse and the human realm. Within the Great Portal, swirl the spirits of all Avagachis that ever existed. The Great Portal protects the Gachiverse Citadel, taking in return a small tithe of Gachis Alchemica harvested from the Gachiverse. We mentioned the Alchemico before, and we're going to get into that more. The Haunts. When the Great Portal is invoked by humans, a connection is made between the Gachiverse and the humans, allowing humans to summon Avagachis by staking spirit force originated from the human realm. This reanimates the Avagachi and allows it to travel back and forth between the Gachiverse and the Ether Realm. There are three distinct zones. We have the Citadel, which is where I'm trying to live, at first at least. Uh, Citadel, protected by a force field that keeps out liquidators. The Citadel is the home base of Avagachis in the Gachiverse. Towers cannot be built in the Citadel, except for in special areas around the Great Portal. The Grid, the grid encompasses everything outside of the Citadel. Parcels in the grid are much more plentiful, but owners should beware. Liquidators are lurking in every corner. Grid parcels can build both walls and towers so that's like when i lived in the bronx and i was like on the edge of the projects so it was like 
that I wasn't in the Citadel, but like definitely the grid was getting a little funky if you went too far to the left. You had to be on, you know, always on point. Okay, the beyond. Lock parcels that will not be unlocked until the beginning of Act 2. So there's going to be uh, different realm parcel sizes as we see here. Parcels come in three sizes, with each size providing greater deposits of Alchemica and more building space. Humble, which is, contains small deposits of Alchemica and building space. Reasonably sized, contain reasonable deposits of Alchemica and building space. Spacious, contains huge deposits of Alchemica and building space. And as you see here, exact material amounts are calculated by Chainlink VRF upon purchase. So this will be randomized by the blockchain, which is fun. And you can see this little illustration here, the realm size distribution. And that's cool. We, you know, it's a 40, 40, 20. I like it. That's cool. And now we're getting to gameplay. Abagachis of the world's first DeFi backed NFTs. And the Gachiverse continues the tradition of innovation by introducing the world's first yield bearing land parcels. Owners of realm parcels can employ their Abagachis and those of others to farm their realm parcels, producing quantities of resources known as Gachis Alchemica. These resources can be combined to create powerful structures known as installations. The Gachiverse is an open ended social space where players can engage in myriad activities such as farming, crafting, trading, and in combat and we can see this like cycle here you're gonna farm the alchemica you're gonna craft installations you're gonna upgrade to unlock benefits which is great although there are no victory conditions or end of game scenarios one overarching goal of the gachiverse is to collect alchemica to bolster your parcel to produce more yield and build defensive structures in preparation for the coming of the prophecy and the great liquidator invasion Ooh, spooky which is great for ghosts Farming your realm, Gotchis Alchemica. Gotchis Alchemica ERC20 tokens are the four elements of the Gachiverse, FUD, FOMO, Alpha, and Keck. They can be combined to craft installations of Aesthetica among other uses. And we see the different types of Alchemica with their different kind of like vibe and look to them, which is all kind of cool. FOMO looking very dark, Alpha looking cool. Like, you know, I envision that being like a, like a star which is like gone white or blue it's like you think it's cool but it's actually like the hottest of the hot it's kind of cool it's kind of dope so we'll continue to read gotchas alchemica can be extracted from the realm in four distinct ways alchemical channeling avogachis can channel their energy directly into the realm parcel exchanging their kinship for a helping of alchemica communal channeling avogachis can also collectively channel alchemica when a gachi lodge installation has been built upon the realm parcel in order to participate in communal channeling, the Abagachi must be wearing the associated guild insignia and be present on the realm parcel during the ritual. For every additional Abagachi participating in the communal channeling ritual, Alchemica will be farmed more rapidly. Farming. Once a harvester has been built, Alchemica be begin accruing passively. Farming. Once a harvester has been built, Alchemica begin accruing passively, with X amount going into the reservoir, Y amount spilling over the nearby map, and Z amount going to the Great Portal. Harvesting Abagachis and liquidators can roam the map collecting loose Alchemica spilled for mining, so that, that gives an incentive for the free-to-play players to come in and find Alchemica which they can use and you know earn yield. Building the realm. Installations are special structures built on top of your realm parcel. Installations are crafted via various combinations of Alchemica and can be freely traded for ghosts in the Avagachi Bazaar. Confirmed installations include Alchemical Altar, include, included with realm parcel, Alchemical Harvesters, Alchemical Reservoirs, Antennas, Black Holes, Display cases, which you could throw, you know, your badges, trophy case, art gallery, so I get my Board Ape Yacht Club and my, uh, maybe my fucking pickle in there. Yeah. And then gachi lodges, which will be used for your guilds, as well as towers. Installations take a certain number of blockchain blocks to finish constructing, but this time can be reduced by spending glamour, gax, liquidity, mining rewards, and in-game currency that can be earned by providing liquidity on the gacha alchemical exchange the gax so that's important because you'll be able to stake money you know throw into a liquidity pool earn a token which will help you to earn another token faster so that's like deep like that's pretty cool we're, we're getting we're getting multi-layered here in these tokenomics aesthetica are aesthetic nfts that can be added to a parcel but do not affect its alchemica or other statistics they just look dope and i like that i'm about things looking dope socializing in the gachiverse Abagachis love socializing with their friends, and their favorite place to hang out is inside the Gachiverse, or Discord where we like to chop it up. 
By default, text chat will be enabled for all gotchis in proximity of each other. So that means we could talk to each other. That's great. Realm parcel owners can also construct special installations on their parcels to enable voice chat for gotchis within a parcel and upgrade the installation to support global voice chat. So that feature to me is very interesting because I feel like global podcasts on my parcel, that that's going to be a thing. I will be building a guild and you can definitely join Music City Gotcha Gang. Gotcha Gang! But let's continue because we have limited time. Take the other side. Players that possess liquidator credits can opt to play as liquidators. Liquidator credits can be earned by completing tasks, referring friends, participating in airdrops, or other ways. They also can be purchased with ghosts. So right now we launched a share to earn program that you can earn uh, drop tickets. So I'm sure that there will be ways to earn liquidator credits from that as well. The main goal of a liquidator is to collect loose alchemica that has been spilled around the gachiverse, but they can also engage in combat with abagachis and offensive installations to earn alchemica. Liquidators are envisioned as a free-to-play entry point to the gachiverse realm, with no cap on supply and limited collectability. So yeah, you can get into the game without actually having to throw any money in, uh, other than having, I guess, a crypto wallet, and then play and earn alchemica. So this gives you a way to earn an upgrade and move eventually to getting an abagachi. Then you can join my gacha guild, and we could do some crazy stuff and fight off some liquidators. It's a little circle, circle of life in there. All right, the prophecy. It has been foretold that the day will come when the Citadel's force field is lowered, allowing liquidators to plunder the Great Portal in an event known as a Great Battle. This event will be repeated nine times, at the culmination of which a momentous mystery will be revealed. Ooh, spooky. Any liquidator reaching the Great Portal will plunder a share of the alchemica stored within. So once again, if you're free to play, you now have a way to get some more alchemica. You will be storming my home, my two-bedroom facing the South Beach. So don't, please don't take my alchemica. I'm going to need it. I got my guild though, so I, I think we'll be fine. Gotcha, Gary. At the end of each great battle, it has been foretold that all alchemica in the Gachiverse parcels will be replenished, nurtured by the spirit force of the fallen Gachis and liquidators in preparation for the next battle. So this will repeat nine times, like I said. Uh, I believe I saw somewhere that it would be quarterly. So that'd be interesting. We're going to have a... Uh, we're going to have some fights ahead, and that's going to be really dope. We'll continue. You see this dope little graphic here of uh, Abagachis with this cool looking, I don't even know what this is, a harvester, mining, foundry. It's just, it looks dope. Adventures. Adventures are special regions outside of the main Gachiverse where Abagachis can put their stats and wearables to work while exploring, battling NPC enemies, and gaining experience and resources, but they don't last forever. So that's good. There's more ways to play. The arena, this is one of my favorite parts. Although Abagachis are friendly, they do realize that aggressive urges need an outlet, which is why they created the arena. Within the arena, Abagachis with high enough spirit force, Ave powered interest bearing A tokens, can battle against each other in epic battle royales, competing for the spirit force of their opponents. So you can go into a battle royale with another Gachi, and if you beat it, you would get their Spirit Force, they're collateral. Now, in the Discord, uh, Coder Dan clarified that the Abagachi wouldn't die if it lost its uh, Spirit Force. What will end up happening is it'll be like it's fainted. So you'll have to put more uh, collateral, more Spirit Force into the Gachi to continue to battle if you wish. Okay. Liquidators dare not enter into the arena, instead opting to frequent the Fantastic Grounds, another friendly fire area that allows Liquidators to enter. So that's interesting. There's options for the Liquidators too. Everybody gets something. Everybody. Gotcha Salchemica Exchange. Gotcha Salchemica are ERC-20 tokens that can be freely traded on the market. These tokens will be freely traded on the Gotcha Salchemica Exchange, a dex that will initially support ghost pairs of, for all the Alchemica. To incentivize liquidity on GAX, an ERC-20 token called Glimmer will be distributed to LPs. Glimmer can be spent to reduce the building time of installations within the Gachiverse. And we can see the pairing here. The Gachi Alchemica Exchange, Gax's in-game decks for all your Alchemica needs. So Keck, Ghost, Alpha Ghost, FOMO Ghost, Bug Ghost. So you can stake that and earn Glimmer, which will can help you to build faster your inst installations. Tokenomics of Realm. Toll Supply. The Toll Supply of Realm is 420,069. Initially, 155,069 Realm will be unlocked and distributed over a period of two years, which will be Act 1. They make up the Citadel and the Grid. The remaining Realm are currently obscured in an area known as the Beyond. As certain game milestones are reached, these Realm will be unlocked to offer new game experiences, Act 2 and 3. 
and we can see the realm tokenomics of total supply 420,069 realm 155,069 realm distributed over a period of two years in act one and they make up the citadel and the grid realm parcels will be distributed in two main ways this is where it gets interesting Method 1 incentivized GBM auctions, which is 80% of the distribution. The primary distribution method for realm parcels will be the incentivized GBM auction system. Participants will be able to select and bid on a specific parcels from within the Gachiverse world, world map. If a bidder is outbid, their bid will be refunded alongside an incentive reward in ghosts. So if you put in a bid and your bid is outbid, you get your bid back plus some extra ghosts. So ideally, you can just keep bidding and then try to get more and more ghosts until you get a winning bid ideally i don't i've never done a gbm auction it'll be interesting to see how it goes we're going to be doing one i think as a test in july before the haunt 2 launches of uh the cyberpunk and the steampunk wearables so we'll get to see that in action hopefully soon the second method will be a raffle 20 percent the secondary distribution method for realm parcels will be chain link vrf powered raffles participants will enter via drop tickets that are used for portal and realm raffles drop tickets can be earned by holding summon abagachis participating in missions or by converting friends points or other raffle tickets at a rate of 10,000 friend points per drop ticket so if you stake your ghost you get for every single ghost you get one friend there are other liquidity pairs with quick swap that you can also look into. I'm just going to speak of the ghost one because it's simple. So if you get 10,000 friends, that is one drop ticket. If you have a godlike, which is 50,000 friends, you can convert that into five drop tickets and then throw it into this raffle for potentially to win 20% of the available parcels. And you can see that here. Acquire tickets, chain link VRF, potentially win a row. So this is the timeline. Q3 2020. We're going to see that first, second, and third pre-sale, all of uh, Citadel and then eventually Citadel and Grid. And then our Realm Citadel will go live in Q4. In Q1 of 2022, we'll have the Grid going live. In Q1, we'll also have the public sale number one, which will be Citadel and Grid. We'll receive our first batch of liquidators. And then in Q2 2022, we'll get our first great battle. And then hopefully we win. We'll see what happens with that. We'll have a second pre-sale of the Realm Citadel Plus Grid in Q2. Q3, we have a second great battle. Q4, we have a third great battle. So, yeah, this it's a lot of information to digest. But the Gachiverse Realm, it's real. It's happening. Make sure to uh, read the light paper, stake some ghosts, because you want to try to get a free parcel if you can get into the if you can get into the raffle. So we'll look at this appendix real quickly. Uh, the first pre-sale, we're going to have a, a quantity of 20,000 parcels. Second pre-sale, 5,000. Third pre-sale, 5,000. So we're looking at 30,000 coming in the pre-sales and the 25,000 coming in the public sale that will be sold over several rounds. Act 1 parcels, there'll be some partner parcels, 69. These are XL parcels for Abagachi partners. Uh, we'll learn more about that in the coming months. And then grid parcel sales, pre-sale will have zero. The second pre-sale will have 15,000. Pre-sale three, 15,000. And then the public sale, 70,000. So that would be another 100,000. So we're getting a lot of those parcels out. Acts two and three are unexplored. They will be part of the 420,069 parcels that have not been distributed. And we can see here, there's the different sizes of the parcels. So you can get 40% of the parcels will be humble, which are eight by eight. 40% will be reasonably sized, 16 by 16, so we're doubling up. Uh, spacious is 32 by 32, so we're doubling up again. That's only 20% of the parcels. And then 69 lucky partners are going to get 64 by 64, the grandest of the lots of land. Uh, and then we have our different installations, the alchemical altar, the most important installation on the parcel, initially used for alchemical channeling with the parcel's linked Avagachi, can also be upgraded to further the tech tree of various other installations. Gachi Lodge. The social hub of a parcel can be upgraded to support voice chat within the parcel or globally for guild members. Abagachis can link to a guild house to engage in a communal channeling, a spectral ritual that lowers kinship but increases the alchemical channel to every gachi for a short period. I improvised some words there, but you get the idea. Harvesters. Harvesters allow parcels to harvest alchemica from the parcel without relying on Avagachi's alchemical channeling. Harvesters are initially not very accurate, and a large portion of the alchemica extracted from the realm will be spilled around the premises for nearby Avagachis or liquidators to capture. 
once again, reinforcing the free to play. You can uh, still yield farm without actually owning a parcel land or an Abagachi. That's amazing. We should get a lot more players that way. Reservoirs. Reservoirs store the alchemical harvested by harvesters. Initially, the storage is quite small, but can be upgraded over time. Walls. Walls are defensive structures that can be built to enclose one's parcel and prevent spilled alchemica from being stolen. Walls can be upgraded to improve their toughness. Towers. Towers are offensive structures that can be built to protect against liquidator raids. They can be upgraded to improve their traits. Towers cannot be built inside the Citadel ex premises except in certain special regions. So I'm not going to be in a tower. Hopefully I'll be able to still see the, the beach. I need to see the beach from my two bedroom in the Citadel. All right, black holes are powerful, mystical objects that exert a gravitational pull on all nearby liquidators, slowly draining their health and bringing them closer towards the parcel. So that's interesting. And then NPCs as dApps. This is something I'm excited for. Dapps will be playable directly within the Gachiverse. An early example of this will be in the Gachi Dex Dapp, a dex specially created for providing liquidity for the Gachis Alchemica. A developer SDK will be created to allow other developers to reskin their smart contract front ends to work as NPCs within the Gachiverse. So that to me, you know, I'm looking forward to creating a dApp. I have no experience coding, so I'm going to be looking, I'll be on the lookout for um, coders that are good, I guess, with Solidly, which is what is used, I believe, for all of this blockchain stuff. So if you're watching this video and you are a programmer who could do stuff like this, hit me up because I'm eventually going to want a dap on my parcel. I'm going to, you know, I need a budget. So you got to let me know in advance. So yeah, that was the Abagachi Gachiverse Realm Light Paper. It's a beautiful, beautiful document. Very long. Look at that thing. A little acid trip, a little shroom trip for all of you and your friends. This has been amazing. There's going to be a white paper coming out soon. I'm looking forward to that. But for now, friends, go out. Try to stake Ghost so you can get more friends. Uh, take the quiz for the light paper so that you can start the share to earn and potentially earn drop tickets that way so you don't have to actually put up Ghost yet. And uh, just get ready. We're going to be having Haunt 2. First, we're going to have that wearables auction sometime in July. And then Haunt 2, hopefully, by the end of July. So more portals. Eventually more parcels, more friends, more enemies. There's going to be liquidators trolling around trying to take our, our alchemica, all of our alchemica. So, you know, jump in, do it. This has been No Futuristic from Music City Gachi Gang. Uh, everybody have a great day. Remember to subscribe to my channel. Go over to Twitter. I'm No Future Photo on Twitter. I like to do a lot of silly stuff on Twitter when I have free time. And uh, have a great day, all Stay up.